Hey, what's going on everybody? Nem with Planet Destiny here, and welcome to the weekly reset of October 12th, and it's Festival of the Losts. It is uh, that time of year once more. Now, before we get into the festivities, um, let's do a quick run over of everything that we got going on. So, of course, into our destinations, we have all of our powerful and pinnacle sources reset. So, if, if you're after pinnacle power drops, activities like uh, Prophecy, Gambit, Strikes and Crucible will uh, net you your Pinnacle Drops, um, as well as the Vault of Glass Raid and missions like the Presage Exotic um, in the Tangled Shore, uh, which will unfortunately get vaulted soon. So if you haven't used that as a source of Pinnacles, I really recommend that you do so. And over in the EDZ, we have Harbinger, which also nets you a pinnacle drop. Over on Europa, we have the Exo Simulation. Uh, this week is called uh, Safeguard, which will net you pinnacle gear. And the uh, Empire Hunt this week, uh, if you run it on Master, which is going to be the Technocrat, will also give you some hot and spicy pinnacle loot. Now, if we go ahead and take a look over at the strikes section, uh, we have Solar Singe as our weekly modifier. And for our daily for today, October 12th, it is going to be Solar Thermal Swap, uh, which Solar Final Blows grant melee and grenade energy and stasis subclasses receive a lot, while other subclasses receive a little and iron. Now, of course, we also have our uh, Nightfalls and the Grandmasters as well to complete for uh, Weekly and Pinnacle. And as far as PvP goes, our uh, Weekly Rotator mode is going to be Team Scorched, which is my absolute least favorite game mode. So if you enjoy that, <laughs> knock yourself out. Um, and of course, you know, you do have your either three matches of uh, Control and or Rumble. Um, or elimination as well, if that uh, tickles your fancy. Uh, now let's go ahead and get into the good stuff. Um, Festival of the Lost is around and ready for your enjoyment. So if we go ahead and come on over and talk to Eva, she's greeted greeted us with a quest of uh, seven steps, um, which nets you a uh, mask, which I'm sure you know most of us already have some sort of mask in uh in stock uh let's take a look at some of the new masks this year yeah so we have uh aramis this time around which looks really really cool uh a tanix mask looks really neat as well a honk moon mask this is a little this is a little on the weird side but you know we'll take it um, a pyramid mask, which I really enjoy. You can do a low key uh, pyramid head uh, cosplay as well. Uh, we also have Ada One and our friendly, lovely sweeper bot. <laughs> and I love that the sites here are like toilet paper rolls. Fantastic little detail. Uh, as far as some of the new rewards that are down here, we have uh, Spectral Pages, which un um, unlocks the ability to unlock a part of the new lore book, which is called, um, uh, what is it called? It's it's Forgotten, the Book of the Forgotten. There it is. Uh, we also have a new uh, Sparrow, the Headless Horsepower, which with a really cool red contrail um there as well as a couple of sick looking engrams and uh the new weapon for this uh year is called jurassic green so it is a 540 rpm um pulse rifle obviously you know it, the event is just released I'm not, i really don't know how this is going to fit well in the pvp sandbox so i'm looking forward to getting to use it and of course we have some returning weapons like the Braytech Werewolf, which is it's a solid auto rifle, don't get me wrong. I think it was um I think it was pretty good when it when it rolled around last time. Unsure on how it sits nowadays in the meta, but the Winter Wolf or the Werewolf is actually one of my favorite as as well. And we have the original 
weapon the horror story which is uh, another 450 rpm auto so you got a couple of different choices this time around and it looks like there's a sh a shader this time called the headless hues which does not look super great <laughs> and a new emblem now of course let's go ahead and take a look at what you're really here for the eververse store and let's see what good old tess has brought for us this time around with festival of the lost all right so off the bat we do see some new stuff so from our weekly silver offerings if you uh, so choose to spend money on this uh, we have the Gourd Summoner, <laughs> which looks uh, pretty neat, kind of cute. Probably won't buy it for silver. Uh, the Ding. Oh, that is uh, that is awesome. I love that. Let's watch it one more time. Yeah, that's sick. I really like that a lot. And we have a new ghost shell called the Fettered Shell, which is looks like a glow-in-the-dark ghost. Uh, really neat with this really cool chain over it. I like it a lot. I wonder if this takes Don't know where shaders. My uncle finds these things. Oh, it does. And it's super glowy. That's really neat. I like that a lot. Obviously, some shaders are a little bit more limited. To it looks like it's, oh yeah, it's very limited to the shaders that it does take, but it does take some. Alright, that's neat. I like it. Uh, we have the Showtime, which is a Beetlejuice, <laughs> and uh, the Playground Ride emote. As far as our weekly Bright Dust offerings, we have the Ghastly Durance. Which I believe I might have this one. This is really cool. Um, a new ship. I'm not even going to pretend to know how to pronounce that. Uh, I'm just going to call it a moth ship. Uh, we have a new pumpkin projection. And a uh, basal toxic uh, shader, which is um, it's a returning a shader. Fantastic um, as far as I the bright dust, him. the regular bright dust offerings this time around, we have the strange brew. It's a multiplayer emote. Really cool. Really neat. The magnificent dance. Anything you want? This little cute little bat shell. Again, I'm not even going to pretend to know how to pronounce that. Uh, Mad Machinery. This is new. This is looks. This looks awesome. Almost gives me kind of a um, Back to the Future vibe. Almost like a DeLorean vibe, and I love it. Uh, the Infected Seeker. Oh my God, Siva. And the Omnigal Mask, which is one of my favorites. Of course, it is. With uh, the Fanged Projection. Uh, projection for your ghost. And we have uh, some really old shaders. Um, I'll quickly browse them. But I mean, these are year one shaders. Which I'm really surprised that they're in this pool, honestly. You can go ahead and pause them if you uh, if you so choose. Okay, this one just decided not to load. So that one will be a surprise for you. We also have the Fallen Arrival um, Transmat Effect. The Arachnophila. Which is gross. <laughs> and the Shattered Shrieker, which is actually one of my personal favorites as well. Uh, now, there is an event page, so let's take a look here and see what we got. Uh, here we have the new armor um, for uh, Festival of the Lost, the Dino Armor, which won the community poll. Um, personally, not a fan, but if you dig it, you dig it, and hopefully you, uh, you pick it up. Um, but that is the, the Warlock one, and uh, we'll, we'll show you guys the Hunter and Titan ones um, in post-editing. Uh, al they also brought back the one from last year's, which was a really cool vampire one. And the ones from years prior as well. So that's a really neat. There you go, this is uh, a Doctor Strange looking one. Uh, we have the Dink Finisher, which we saw. The One Punch. Shaded Titan Mask ornament as well, which looks kind of neat. 
A penguin mask, okay. Kind of neat as well. Spider's associate. And, you know, the actual spider itself. Now, of course, I think we have seen a good majority of some of these other uh, stuff in the past. Uh, we do have uh, the Calavera shell, which is uh, brand new to this season. I believe Bungie made a blog post on it as well, which looks very pretty. Um, ooh, new... Oh. Oh, no, I hate that. Uh, as a big arachnophobe. Uh, yeah, no. Nope. Mm -mm. Nope, nope, don't even want to look at it anymore. <laughs> uh, let's see. You know, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, YouTube, but I could have sworn that uh, we were also going to get some weapon ornaments this time around. And uh, not seeing those. This looks new. Don't know where my uncle yeah, that's really cool. Yeah, I like that a lot. Yeah, it's pretty sick. That's that's definitely new. Uh, yeah, I could have sworn that we were going to get some weapon ornaments as well. And it looks like that's not the case, which is uh, kind of unfortunate. Um, but anyways, uh, before we head on out of here, let's go ahead and take a look at the weekly Banshee weapon rolls. What do you need? What do you need? All right, so we have the Whispering Slab Combat Bow with Killing Wind and uh, Swashbuckler. Um, I'm not really a big bow kind of guy, but this actually looks kind of solid. Um, I might pick it up and play around with it. Uh, as far as the Masterwork goes, it has an Accuracy Masterwork, which is, I guess, helpful. More aim assist. The Long Shadow Sniper Rifle with uh, Hip Fire and Triple Tap. Maybe for PvE, but except for the Hip Fire part with a Range Masterwork. First in, last out, auto-loading holster and demolitionist. This was almost good. If it had Vorpal, this would have been amazing. With light mag, small bore, and a handling masterwork. The eternal blazon scout rifle with full auto and kill clip with armor piercing rounds and a range masterwork. This actually is kind of a kind of a must-have for me. Uh, I definitely will be picking this up. Uh, Outrageous Fortune, uh, you guys already know how I feel about this with Snapshot and Genesis, uh, this is a hard pass. And finally, the Eternity's Edge with Energy Transfer and Counter Attack with a Impact Masterwork, it's also a pass because Fallen Guillotine exists. Uh, so there you have it folks, um, as far as the seasonal stuff, um, you do have the Shattered Realm this week located in the... Uh, debris of dreams so if you haven't gotten all of your secrets and uh, whatnot you should be able to do so now um, but that is going to be all for us this week guardians thank you so much for watching uh, enjoy festival of the lost if you uh if you are going to be playing it and we'll catch you all next one take it easy everybody <laughs>